I'm just gonna get to it and open it up. So came this morning and this will be the first time I've seen the watch in person because they're not in stock. Ah, loads of little stuff. Let's just pour all this out. And we have the typical Seiko basic box, which it's okay. I don't mind it since uh, the watch is not that expensive. So you've got the Seiko manual the instructions. I think we all know what they are. Uh, instructions, mechanical watch, and that's the guarantee. Um, warranty card and stuff's in there. Okay. And uh, let's take a look. <laughs> it's always like this. Every time I open up a Seiko, it's like in a corner. So, yeah. I wasn't quite sure what I thought about it. When I saw it online, I'm like, okay, I really like this the look of this watch because it's like my ass gets, wow, it's quite quite light. I'm surprised about that. Uh, let's uh, get a little bit closer. Let me just uh, move the camera a bit. There you go, it's a little bit closer to the screen, uh, to the dial. It's actually a very clean looking dial. I do like the fact that it's got very minimal amount of text on there. So I'm going to go into it a little bit more in a few weeks, probably. Um, so you've got the Jubilee bracelet. Now, I've got the SKX, which I've had for over t 12 years, I think. Um, and I quite like the fact that this is like an SKX, but with a GMT. A few things that uh, uh, stand out is that this has the borders around the hour markers, which I'm not really a big fan of. But I picked the black dial because I like the grey here. I didn't want to go for the blue dial. Uh, and everyone's... I think the blue dial is the most popular. So obviously I don't want to get the blue dial. Because if everyone has that, why have the same watch as everyone else? Um, so it is hacking, obviously. So I think it's one. One out. And then that moves the date. And then that moves the GMT hand. So I use a GMT a lot. Uh, thoughts on the watch? It's just like an SKX, which it basically is the uh, the case is the same as an SKX. It's got a lot of um, brushed and polished bits, which I prefer just to have one finish to it. I prefer a brush finish. I'm not. Sh I definitely won't be using it on the um, the bracelet. Let's get it all. I'm done and everything. So many uh, bits of paper and stuff. So you've got the folding clasp. Yeah, I don't like the clasp of Seiko's. They're so cheap and nasty. I definitely won't be keeping it on the Jubilee bracelet because I'm not a big fan of Jubilee bracelet. Is it rattly? Let me take this off first and there. Give it a rattle. And there we've got the Seiko reference number. K1. Ah, so it's a K1. Ah, you see? Ugh. K1 basically means it wasn't made in Japan, even though it's made by Seiko. Uh, it's not too rattly. Um, so, uh, is it Malaysia? Um, Comment below if I'm wrong there. Uh, the K1s, I think, are either Malaysia or uh, some other country uh, around that area that makes the K1 uh, Seiko um, watches. The J1s are Japan ones. I've got uh, my other ones are J1s, and I prefer to get a J1 just because it's a Japanese watch. It's like buying a Swiss watch, but it's being put together in, say, China. You wouldn't want to do that, would you? That'd be <gasps> terrible. Uh, thoughts on the watch? I do like it uh, because I do like my SKX and it has a GMT function. So it's, yeah. I mean, I don't mind the bracelet. I don't mind the look of the bracelet, but I'm a bit of a, uh, a fan of changing my bracelets to straps. But I will wear it on the bracelet just for the, uh, the review because I, I want to give it a good... Um, a good going just so I can uh, give everyone a, a clear 
and precise uh, review of it. So I can tell you what the bracelet's like. But I do like the dial because all you've got is automatic GMT. I don't like the fact where it's got the Seiko and then the, uh, the five at the, the S looks like. I don't like that. I think I would have just preferred the Seiko. I, I like the fact that it's got a gray at the bottom and they haven't gone for red or anything else like that. Let's have a... Ah, it's friction. Oh, it's a friction bezel, so there's no click. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I think, because Seiko do make quite good um, sounding bezels. But the good thing is, I know that a lot of people have um, uh, difficulty with the chapter rings. It really annoys them that they don't line up with their friction bezel. You can line it up exactly because it's not going to click into place. Like sometimes they click and it's slightly off. People with the OCD, it annoys them. It's the back case, it's an open back case as well. Now, I didn't do much research on this in terms of you know watching other people's reviews and stuff, so I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, so like, like the back case, I, w I didn't even know it had an open back case. Uh, and I'll look into more of what the movement is. I just bought it because one, I like the Seiko SKX, like I said earlier and this has a GMT function. So it kind of ticks the box for me. Yeah, I like the size. It fits nicely on my wrist. And um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll be wearing this. Because I the, the SKX I wore for a long, long time. It was my everyday watch for a long time. I really do enjoy wearing that one because it's cheap. I don't have to worry about it. It's very strong. And it was just a good workhorse. Like, like most watches nowadays, I'm like, oh, it's thousands of pounds worth of watch. I've got to be a bit more delicate with it. And I, I, I just don't see the, I've said it before, I don't see the point of um, people brushing up their watches for no reason. But that's the unboxing. I'll, I, I'm not a big fan of the Cyclops, but that's part of it. And I'm glad they didn't do a day date one, even though I do like day dates, like on my Turtle. But again, I'll go into more of the review. Finish wise, you know, for for these retail for 400 pounds, I think give it a little bit while, they'll, they'll go to 420, 450 pretty soon. Um, I, you can get discounts on these already. Um, I got a 15% discount, so this watch cost me, what, three, 360 was it? Or 340, I can't remember. Uh, so just take away 15% off uh, 400 pounds. And that's what I paid for it. Will, will you be able to get more? Probably, I think a lot of people will start buying this and it'll go just off the charts. People will go mad about it. Then the whole craze will die like they did with the turtle and then you'll pick them up for like 200 pounds. Uh, so if you want to wait, but for a 400 pound, I think for, for value for money, 400 pounds GMT, because I was considering, I'll, I'll go into more detail what other watches I was, was considering, but that's the unboxing, very basic, but yeah, I like the look of it. Glad I got the gray. Yeah, like, and I already like the red. But yeah, watch out for the full review in a few weeks' time.